你好，我系陈老师。I have something that is really amazing to teach you today, and that is Chinese typing. You know, when we are doing Chinese typing, we think about how to put them into the keyboard. Like, how do we type it using the alphabets that we have on a keyboard? Which is actually true because for English typing, you already know how to spell a word. Like for apple is a p p l e. Even you don't know how to really type fast, you can just look and see. Oh, that is the a a. That is the p. And we can just slowly type it in. But what about typing Chinese? When we are typing Chinese, there is a lot that we have to catch up. But it's not impossible. There are still many people who can type and type really well. So I think you. Are here and is ready to learn something about Chinese typing. Before we actually learn how to type, we have to know where to type the different parts of these Chinese characters. The method I'm teaching you today is called Chongqing. Chongqing. Well, Chongqing was a really, really. Old person, well,、uh, in the in the past, like in a historic person, who started creating Chinese characters, and this Chong kid person, well, create some of the words that we know right now. So this is how the people who、uh, started this input method think. Hmm, maybe we can use his name to be the name of our typing method. So Chong Kit, and、uh, in English you will see C A N G J I E. That is like the uh, uh, Mandarin pronunciation, which is Chang Jie. Okay, Chong Kit. Well, before I teach you how to put all the words together, I'm gonna show you this. This is like a keyboard. You see the all the A B C D E etc. Right. But when they are there,、um, the uh, according to the Chang Jie input method, well, they belong to some other parts, and I'm showing you the whole thing right here. Don't worry, we are going to do it step by step, and I'm going to start with teaching you what each of the alphabet stands for, and just like English. It's always better to start with the A B C. So I'm just moving my, me on the side. Let's take a take a look at the first five English alphabet and what they stands for in this Chang Jie Chong Kit typing method. So if you look carefully, we have the A B C D E listed right here. Do you know these Chinese characters? The A. Is the character yat, or any word that has this type of shape of the yat, and then B is the yu, the moon, right? And then C is gum, gum. D is mo, and E is so. When I say these are what the A B C D E stands for, they are not the only parts of Chinese that it stands for. But at the very beginning level, let's just say these are what we have to know for these alphabets. Because this is the first lesson, I'm gonna teach you the more complicated things just a little later. All right. So we have to remember. All these A B C D E and what they stand for, and we have to be very familiar with what they are, so that we can start typing them in. I have to tell you when I'm teaching you these Chongqi Chongqi right、um, typing method, I cannot teach you everything just yet. Because it is,、uh, there is a lot that is going on with the typing. So let's do it step by step. So I have these five alphabets, and how how do we type them? There are、uh, there are keyboards,、uh, there are computers that you can just directly 
type the words in and when you uh, and when you have the input method the chang jie chong kit typing method then you can just type a and it will show the yat b you will show the yut yes that is definitely okay and that is absolutely awesome but if you don't have it just yet you can use this website so the triple w dot changjieinput.com and then you see that little link right there so we i'm gonna show you how it looked like do you still remember what the a b c d e stands for now let's take a look here is the page well as you can see it's the online chong keep input method changjie all right so now all you have to do is to use your keyboard and if you still remember a which is a yeah so now I'm going to type the A for you. A. Do you see the list of Chinese characters it has for you? So I am looking for the Yat. Of course, you can click right here. It is going to give you the Yat. Or, let me go back. If I type the A and I want to just use my keyboard, I can type Yat. It is also going to give the yet to me. After I finish typing the word, you will see they are going to give you some words that usually come after the word yet. For example, yet bon, which is Japan. There are also yet seen, yet how, yet k, yet yet, etc., etc. If they are some words that you are going to type after the word yet, you can just go and choose them. And I believe. If you press the plus, here we go. You will have more of the vocabularies that start with yet, yeah, and you could just choose from here. But of course, later on, when you know how to type them, you can just blah, 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 type them all in. All right, so we've got a, which is a yet, yeah, and okay, let's put it back in. So a yet, yeah, and I have the number one yet. Yeah. So let's say, oh, that's all I need. That is the only word that I need. Then I will just copy it. You know how to copy, right? So Control C, and then you paste it onto wherever you have to paste it. For example, a document or a website, wherever you need to type the Chinese word. Okay. So this is the A. Let's take a look at the B. B is the U. So you see it right here. You also see it. See it right here. So let's see. This is what I oh, this is what I need. The U, and then what is the C? The C is gum. So just typing, uh, just typing in the yet. It is going to give us the gum, and for D, it is the mo. So typing yet is going to give us the mo. Remember, if the word that you are typing is the A B C D E is the yet you gum mo so, then all you have to do is to type that alphabet. So let's have E, which is so, and type the number. Here you go. You have it. All right. So now let's come back to this. Um, on that same page, on the same web page, when you go down, here we go. We have all the um, all these alphabets with their uh, representing Chinese characters or parts. So you can just take a look. If just so happens you want to type the word "sao," and oh, uh, Chen Ouxi didn't teach me just yet, but I can just check right here. Oh, I have it right here. It's Q. So you could just type Q, and they're going to give you the "sao." I am not teaching you how to put different parts together and create a word just yet. I'll teach you later. Okay, let's come back to our PowerPoint. Make sure when you are typing, you know what alphabet they are, because on a regular keyboard, you will not see all these Chinese words, right? You won't see a yet. You won't see a mo or a, a gum or etc. So. That's why we have to spend some time in knowing and familiarizing all these terms. Let's see if you can type them. So on the keyboard, 
a, I want you to turn, to, uh, I want you to open a tab, go to that website I just showed you, which is right here, and I want you to type them. So the A, B, C, D, E, which are yet, yu, gum, mo, sui, and practice as much as you can, familiarize them, and know them so you can complete the exercise I give you.